I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. And we're here to answer your questions. That's right. So, who's got a question? Oh, hey, I just remembered. I got an email from a kid named Ezio Vietti in Hackensack, New Jersey. You got a what? You know, Bob. Email, aren't you wired, online, surfing the web? HTML, good buddy. Oh, uh, I got cable last month. You are so early 90s. Anyway, Ezio said he just did something that he knew he wasn't supposed to do. Now his friends are telling him to lie about it so he won't get in trouble. What should he do? Ooh, a lie can be a very dangerous thing. Do we have any stories about that? Bob, I'm all over it. Huh? The same thing happened to Junior Asparagus once. It did? I don't remember. Ezio, grab your popcorn, turn down the lights, and get ready for Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space. Roll film. Huh? Larry? Oh, that is a great movie. Oh, it sure was. I especially liked the part where the space aliens sucked all those cows up into their spaceship and then switched brains with the cows so they could come back to Earth and infiltrate our society unnoticed. Yeah, yeah that, that, was, that was great. What do you suppose that is? I'm bored, Jerry. B-O-R-D, bored. Why did we want to work at the Bumbleberg Science Lab? Because we wanted to see space aliens. And what have we seen in two long years? Huh? Nothing. Nothing. N-U-T. You know, nothing. Jimmy? Watch the screen, they said. Keep your eyes on the screen. So we watched the screen for two years. And what do we see? Nothing. Jimmy? And then there's the light. If this light ever flashes, something from space is about to hit Bumbleberg. Alert Larry Boy immediately. Jimmy? Like that'll ever happen. I'm telling you, Jerry, this is the most boring job on Earth. Maybe we can get our old jobs back at Mr. Slushy. What? Master Larry, excuse me, Master Larry. Yes, Alfred. Uh, uh. No time now, Alfred. Duty call. I'm fallen and I can't get up.
The tea party is almost ready. We just need one more plate for Mr. Snuggly. Hmm, another plate. I know just where to get one. Where? Up there. Um, that looks like a very special plate. Maybe we could find another one. Oh, it is a special plate. My dad says, that's Art Bugatti, the greatest bowler that ever rolled a ball. Only 200 plates made. It's collectible. Let's just find another plate. Mr. Snuggly is a very special bear. He deserves a special plate. I'm sure my dad won't mind. <laughs> I was supposed to wash my, um, I have to take out the, um, I gotta go. Psst! Hey, kid! Looks like you got a problem. Huh? Who said that? If you're interested, I think I can help. Mr. Snuggly, you can talk? Well, I've never been called Mr. Snuggly before, but of course I can talk. Actually, the name is Fibrilius Minimus, but you can call me Fib. You must be new to the neighborhood. You could say that, but more importantly, I'm here to help you out. I couldn't help but notice you broke the plate. Yeah, I... And I imagine your father's not gonna be thrilled. Well, yeah. Now listen closely. What you need is a story. You mean like a bedtime story? No, 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 no. Now try to keep up here, kid. You need to make up a story about how somebody else broke the plate. You mean you want me to lie? Oh, no, 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 not a lie. What we are talking about here is just a little fib. People do it all the time, trust me. A little fib couldn't hurt anybody. I'm home. Well, it's up to you, kid. Break a leg. Hi, Junior. How was your day today? My plate! My Art Bugatti Limited Edition Collector's Plate! What happened to it? Well... It's Laura's fault. She broke the plate. I tried to stop her. She said she had to demonstrate her apple chopper. The apple chopper worked just great, but chopped right through your bowling plate. It's Laura's fault, she broke the plate, it's true. And that's the tale I have to tell to you. Oh, my. If that's what you say happened, then, well, I trust you, Junior. But I'm very surprised at Laura. I'm gonna have to call her father right away. You did it! Good work, kid! Huh? Have you grown? Oh, well, no, no, I've always been this size. But you, you are magnificent. I don't know. What about Laura? Oh, she'll be fine. Remember, a little fib couldn't hurt anybody. And besides, it's over. You're free. You're right. I don't have to worry about that plate anymore. I'm free. You betcha. I feel great. You were right. A little fib can't hurt anybody. <laughs> That's my boy. Come on, kid. Let's go have some more fun. Alrighty. I'm with you all the way, fib. <laughs> Loud and clear, Alfred. Go ahead. Yes. Um, have you located the foreign object? I'm afraid not. The Larry Mobile and I have been all over Bumbleberg, and we haven't seen anything that looks like it came from outer space. Nothing at all? Well, we did see a kid with green hair. Oh, and a dog that could whistle. Oh, all right. Well, keep looking, Master Larry. Remember, the security of Bumbleberg rests in your... Uh, plungers. 
Have no fear, Alfred. If there's a space alien in this town, Larry Boy will bring him in. Hello, boys. Hey, Junior. Uh, I'll be right back. Hi, Percy. Junior, I just came from Laura's house, and she got in trouble for breaking your dad's bowling plate. Except she says she didn't break it. She says you did. Who's telling the truth? Oh, well, actually, she's right. Huh? Laura didn't break the plate. It was, it was Lenny. Her brother? Yep, that's right. Lenny broke the plate. I'll tell you the whole story. It's Lenny's fault he broke the plate. He's very naughty. Just how was I to know he hated Art Bugatti? He gave it to a crocodile who chewed it up for quite a while. It's Lenny's fault he broke the plate. It's true. And that's the tale I have to tell to you. Whoa, gee. I didn't think Lenny was capable of that kind of violence. He seemed like such a nice kid. I didn't even know he had a crocodile. This is great. It worked again, Feb. Feb, you are growing. Growing? Oh, no, no. Well, maybe I put on a few pounds, but Junior, I will always be your little Feb. You've got legs. Yes, I do. But enough about me. Junior, you were marvelous. What a story. I'm telling you, kid, you've got the gift. Really? Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. You've got what it takes. What do you mean you can't find it? I'm telling you, Alfred, I've looked everywhere. It's just not here. Master Larry, I've gone all over the data from the science lab, and I have to agree with their conclusions. Something from outer space landed in Bumbleberg. It simply has to be around there somewhere. Look, Alfred, I've been driving around all day. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I've got to go to the bathroom. This suit is very constricting. I'm coming home now. But the security of Bumbleberg rests in you. There are no space aliens in Bumbleberg. There he is! Hi, guys. Uh, if you need me, I'll be over here. Huh? No, no, that's not what I said at all. You didn't break the plate, and you didn't break the plate. No, it was these space aliens. They came down and they grabbed these cows and they switched brains of the cows. And the cows with the brains of the space aliens broke the plate. Funny, I just saw that same thing happen in a movie. Invasion of the Cow Snatchers. You did? That's another lie. Nothing but a pig. Hi, Junior. What are you doing? Don't worry, Junior. A little fib couldn't hide anybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
still stuck in the molasses swamp. I've been here for 38 turns. Your turn, Alfred. Yes, let's see. Oh, look! I get to go all the way to Princess Lolly! What luck! Ha! Huh. Your turn! Still stuck. I sure hope the rest of Bumbleberg is having a better day than I am. <laughs> Alfred, I've got work to do. Consider our game postponed. That's the thing about Fibs, Julia. We grow. Now that I'm big, it's my turn to call the shots. And you belong to me. Not so fast, monster. Huh? If anyone can stop that fib, Larry Boy can. Drop the asparagus. Why don't you come and make me? Little purple man. If that's the way it's gotta be! Larry, what's happening? The monster is headed toward the Bumbleberg water tower. He is carrying a small asparagus. Alfred, we must find a way to stop this beast. Yes, I'll get the computer working on it right away. Can you get to the water tower? The road is blocked. I'm afraid I'll have to go on foot. Well, I've made a few modifications to the Laddie-mobile that might just do the trick. You have? Well, you know, I like to tinker in my spare time. Is that what all these new buttons are for? That's right. Unfortunately, I haven't had time to label them. Oh, dear. But if you do exactly what I say, everything should work out fine. I think. Let's see if your little playful friend can help you up here. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know. Maybe he fell asleep. Well, somebody should go wake him up. Now, once you get up to speed, all you have to do is press the green button. No, no, the blue button. Alfred! Going to run out of road! Which button is it? The blue button! Press the blue button! Viper! The green button! It's the green one! He's on, King! It's part of the plan! So this is what you do in your spare time. Well, not all of it. I also dabble in biochemistry, nuclear medicine, you know, this and that. So how do we stop this thing? Oh, yes, that. Uh, let's see here. Ah, we know what the monster is now. What is it? It's a lie. What's a lie? It is. Which part? The whole thing. It's a lie. The monster is a lie. Oh, my. Well, how do I stop it? Um, I'm afraid we don't know that yet. Trap. Oh, I don't think you should look, man. It's not a pretty sight. Mom! Dad! Help! Alfred, what kind of weapon systems do we have?
would be a good time for you to tell me how I can stop this fly. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, here comes the answer now. Um, according to my calculations, you can do... Nothing. Nothing? Yes, nothing. Why didn't you tell me that before I jumped on his head? Well, my calculations were not yet finished. Even a little lie can get really big, really fast. And a big lie can just swallow you up. And Junior, you made a really big lie! <laughs> Alfred, we've been over this. No, 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 listen! You cannot stop the lie, but someone else can! What? Who? I don't know yet. The computer's working on it right now. Now which one of you guys should I eat first? Alfred, we have no time! It's faking! Hmm, you sort of look like candy. problem I know I can handle. Dad, I'm really sorry about your plate. Oh, Junior, I'm sure it was an accident. I just wish you would have told me right away. I thought you'd be really mad at me. Junior, you're much more important to me than any old bowling plate. I guess I should be punished, huh? I think what you've been through today was punishment enough. What do you think, Dad? I think you're right. Let's just make sure that from now on we get the true story the first time. Oh, doesn't it just warm your heart? And it's all because of one man, one plunger-headed hero always ready when Bumblebird needs him. Larry boy? Hop, there he goes again. Wow, that was really something. You did a great job, Larry. Boy. Thank you, Bob. Um, we need to hurry this along. I have a meeting with the action figure people in ten minutes. 
action figures? Yes, Bob. Larry Boy Mania is sweeping the nation. If you're not on board, you're gonna miss the train. I, uh, I had no idea. Now you do. Yes, well, we're over here by QWERTY to talk about what we've learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. God has a lot to say in his book. I like that thong. Let it play. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone. Now that our song is done, we'll take a look. Well, Junior thought the best way to get out of trouble was by telling a lie. Yep, but to cover up for the first lie, he had to tell more and more lies until finally he was trapped. A slave to his lies. That's right. He thought a lie would set him free. But in the end, the only way for him to get free was by telling the truth. Let's see if QWERTY has a verse for us. The truth will set you free. John 8, 32b. You see, Ezio, the only way for us to really be free is by doing what God wants us to do. And God wants us to always tell the truth. I'm not saying that you won't get punished for what you did, but as Junior learned, facing your parents can be a lot less painful than getting stuck in a big lie. Oh, is that right? Well, we gotta clear the stage now, Bob. It's time for the world premiere of my new music video. Y your what? You're joking, right? He's not joking. Larry, we gotta talk! Alfred, I've got work to do. Consider our game postponed.
Dynamite! Wow.